We will. One, two, three. We will. One, two, three. We will. One, two, three. We will. Let's go. I can call each and every single player on the team my brother. And I think that's what helps. I think that's what makes us be able to just act like who we are and be ourselves without anyone judging us. Pretty much every day we, we go do everything together. Um, we talk, we get in the locker room, we have fun together. Uh, we don't have, we don't hold records with anyone. Everyone likes each other. So this is gonna be a special season. There's nothing that go wrong between us. Uh, like I said, you see, see one of us, you're gonna see the other. And the bond we have is like, it's like an actual brotherhood. I mean, we have a group chat and we talk every day, regardless if we're together or not. On and off the court, we're always communicating with each other. They really take care of me, like, they asking me, like, sometimes maybe stupid questions, but it's really good because, like, I know, like, they care about me. So now it's like my family. We have no egos on this team. Everybody just wants to win, you know, and nobody cares about who's going to shoot the ball or anything like that. We just we just want to win, like Coach Rise does, but we're like, get it now, we're going to do what I got to do. I think that comes with the, the brothership aspect that this team has. Um, we all feel for each other when something's going on. Um, we all care about each other, we all have each other's back. Our relationship, player to students, is very, very important. And uh, not only that, you know, we've really worked hard with former players, former students, alumni, uh, trying to build relationships there. The alumni event was very cool. We got to talk to and sit down with players who have been here in the past, who have won the national championship, who knows what it takes to be successful, and are just now successful in the real world. So it's just a very cool uh, thing to do. It was a great setting. It was here at uh, the Alumni Center. I knew we'd have a great turnout. Um, 1951 uh, is the oldest player. Um, and uh, so we have a lot of a lot of decades covered. Oh, when when I turned the corner and came into the building, uh, it's very exciting to see guys, uh, especially guys that you didn't play with, and get an opportunity to meet them and talk to them, and you know, it, it just an incredible feeling. When you get out of college, you think about a lot of stuff like old stories, old roommates, old teammates, and stuff like that. To come back and see these guys over ten years later. Um, see what they're doing in their lives and stuff like that and personal you know, things like that, kids being married, all the things that were completely different from when we were, when we were you know, going to college together, man. This has been amazing. I got to see a lot of the guys that, that I hear so much about. You know, you walk, up, you walk through the halls of the locker room, you'll see like guys' pictures up and all their accomplishments and accolades and stuff. And it gives me that, that idea, that, that feeling of, I can do something, something great like that too one day. We're a brotherhood, and like you said, it's a fraternity. And you have uh, former players all the way back to the 50s, all the way up until a year ago here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is my hero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. Yeah. Really. Really. Thank Thank you. You. It's from around basketball is all about. It's a brotherhood. Y'all paved the way for us. It's overwhelming to see so many great players, you know, that have played. Uh, in the Maryland basketball tradition over the years. I think what makes Maryland basketball so special is the history. You know, we got a lot of history here, a lot of great guys that always come back and make you feel like family, you know. And uh, I think the best thing, the best part of and the best thing I could have did was come here because it made me feel like family from day one. I want to thank Coach Kirchner again for putting this together. He's great. Thank you. This is something since I became the head coach of Maryland that, that I wanted to make happen. And um, it's 
when, when, you, when you take the job in Maryland, you take it because of what's standing in front of me and what's standing behind me. It's a terrific experience, there's no question about it. You're kind of reflecting the generations of Maryland basketball, to see the changes not only in the game, but how people can change. We can reminisce, uh, we can embellish, but the bottom line is we're having a, a great deal of fun. This ball is what it's all about. I mean, you have signatures and guys that played in the team back in the 50s, um, and guys that played, you know, through Lefty, Coach Williams, and, and uh, Mark Turgeon, and this is what it's about. And it's so genuine. These guys, they, they have so much pride and passion in Maryland basketball. They want to be a part of it. When you have the opportunity to meet some of the alumni, it says that a university like this will afford you the opportunity to succeed. To me, it's always about the players, always about the former players. And, and when I told them that this is their program, it's their program. I just happen to be the coach right now. The bottom line is, you know, you really don't feel any better than to be able to say, you know, I contributed to some of this. To see those guys that played before me and after me and to see that the, the whole college and university in good hands in terms of uh, the basketball program is it's really rewarding. I think they're going to have a very good year this year. They have quality guys. Back when we were really successful, we had quality people, not just basketball players. And, and then they're going to have quality people and basketball players on the court this year. I'm looking at this team. It's going to be a matter of time to see how the talent blends, but if it does what I think it should do, I think the Terps will be good this year. They're starting to compile a group of guys who can carry on the tradition, if you will, you know, of being able to be competitive, to have character. You know, those are the types of things I'm looking for. And I think Mark can be at the front of that. Coach Turgeon is, is taking the program where it, where it needs to go, and we're going to do excellent things in the near future. A lot of these guys, and, and they'll tell you, that a lot of these guys chose Maryland because of of you and what you guys accomplished as players. He understands the importance of what the guys who were here before had done and how the past can help him build his future and make new history for uh, the teams that are coming along now. To have a guy like him in charge uh, to reach back and, and show the value of some of the former players really means a lot to us. And I think it's a lot, it says a lot about the universe and the direction that he's trying to go in right now. This group former players has been the best group team. The fans have been great. You know, a lot of people have been great, but the former players have been the best. And uh, from day one, they made me feel like I was their coach, even though I didn't coach them. So that goes a long way. So,